Hello Abbey Woodworkers and DIYers, Mayanna here with Heartwood Art and today I'm going to show you how I made this rustic crate. It's so easy and versatile. Use it for anything, an end table, storage, dog kennel, whatever you like. And the door can be made to hinge to lay down or like I have it here as a gate because I'm going to use mine as a dog kennel. Come on in Zach. Oh, he just loves it, right? Okay, let's get going on it. Now, before we get into this, if you plan to use it for a kennel, let's talk about using pallet wood. My dog is very well behaved and not a chewer, but you still need to ensure that you only use pallet wood that's been heat treated. Do not use any chemically or pressure treated wood. It's toxic to dogs. Also, pallet wood is rough and full of splinters on the edge. I sanded the interior like crazy, including the top and bottom edges of the boards. And this is a made-to-order crate for my dog. Your final dimensions may vary. The following are the measurements I took and how they corresponded to the dimensions of the crate. Measure from the floor to the top of your dog's head or top of the ears if they stand up with dogs standing up straight. This should be the inside edges of your one by two rails, plus maybe an inch or so. And then measure butt to front paws with the dog laying down with the paws in front of them. Now that should be the front to back of the kennel interior plus two to three inches. And then measure butt to head with the dog curled up. And this should be your side to side kennel interior plus two to three inches for turnaround room. And of course, You'll want to put some type of pad on the bottom, preferably something thick enough that the dog can't scratch through easily. So be sure to include the height of that in your measurements for how tall the inside should be. It will be the height of your dog plus the pad plus two inches at least. Now my pallet wood was pretty rough, so I elected to sand one side of all the boards down before I started the build. My Ryobi planer made super fast work of it too. Just be sure to check the boards for nails first. Now here's how I made quick work of this task. I put a drop sheet on my bench. That kept all the dust from falling on my tools and other wood and such that I had stored under the bench. And it made dust collection on the bench way easier too. Then I clamped the pallet board to the edge. That gave me a stable platform for the planer. It would have taken way longer to get the boards that smooth with a sander, but I did use my sander for the edges to remove those splinters. Now I used all scrap wood for this project and I had a piece of scrap half inch plywood available so that's what I chose. Now note, I did shore up the bottom of it when installing the caster so it would not bow. If you have a three quarter inch plywood piece, you likely won't have to take that extra step later, especially if your dog is small. And I like to cut plywood on the floor with my homemade circular saw straight edge. You can visit Heartwood Art to see how I made that. Now I cut the side to side width first and then I cut the length. Well now that we have our plywood cut, be sure to look above or below this video for part two where we'll add the rails to the plywood to build the top and bottom of the crate. And if you're enjoying this build, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com for more easy builds and I'll see you in the shop.